This is a demo video for analyzing Connect 16S rRNA data using the Connect 16S rRNA kit in SmartLink 13.0 and up. The input to the first workflow are HiFi CCS band files that's usually generated on instrument and has been demultiplexed of the barcoded Connects adapters. All Connects kits come with four barcoded Connects adapter sets. And during run design, which I've shown in the other video, you can choose which barcodes you've used. So you can select one or more of those DMOX HiFi band files and run resegmentation, which will deconcatenate into the original falling 16 inch amplicons. Connect 16 inch RNA kit is a 12 fold concatenation kit. So the segmentation adapter set we're choosing is MOSSEQ adapter V2 MOS12. To show you what the resegmentation results will look like, here's an example run on SQL2. So we generated 2.3 million hi-fi reads, and after read segmentation, we obtained 27.4 million segmented reads or S reads, where the mean read length is the essentially the full length 16S molecule length of 1.5. And this being a 12 fold concatenation kit, you can see the percent of full arrays and the concatenation factor signals that it's uh, a successful full array 12 fold library. Now, after you've generated the uh, segmented S reads, the next, set, ne next step is to demultiplex by the samples by the 16S amplicons. So if you follow the Connect 16S protocol, you have generated multiplexed 16S amplicons using forward and reverse primer pairs. To demultiplex them, we have to then take the segmented S reads and run it through demultiplex barcodes, which is another data utility. Here we are choosing the barcode set Connect 16S 384 plex primers and note that you should choose the option to saying same barcodes on both ends of the sequences is no, because if you've read the protocol, it uses uh, different forward versus reverse primers. You can either choose to assign the biosamples interactively, as you can see here, or you can select from file, which you can then download in autofill barcoded sample file, fill in the required information, and then upload it. Let me show you what this looks like on a test 96 plex run. This is the result of that same read segmentation uh, running through demultiplex barcodes. So I had uploaded 96 barcode pairs, and you can see that the majority of the reads, 98.14% of them, actually successfully demultiplex based on their forward and reverse primers. If we then go look at the barcode data, let me just expand this a little bit. You can see that we've achieved pretty equal pooling of all of the 96 plex samples. So from here, you can then go download the individual per sample falling 16S molecules and then analyze them using 16S pipelines such as those that we've provided on GitHub or your own custom pipeline. Thank you for watching this demo video.